If you want to make a ton of money legally through hacking, this video is for you. We'll discuss ways to do so without exploiting companies or government agencies. This company, for instance, Zerodium, pays up to $2.5 million for a zero-day vulnerability. Yes, you heard that right. We'll rank bug bounty programs, penetration testing, zero-day hunting, and more. Let's go. By engaging in ethical hacking, you can offer your expertise and services to organizations legitimately and responsibly, making a positive impact and earning a living. There are several ways for an hacker to make money. Here are the four best ones. At number four, we have bug bounty programs. One of the most common ways to make money hacking is by joining a bug bounty program. Many companies and organizations offer bug bounty programs, which are rewards for finding and reporting security vulnerabilities. Some popular bug bounty programs include HackerOne, BugCrowd, and Synopsize. So how does bug bounty programs work? The first step is to find a bug in a company's or organization's software or website. This can be done through various methods, such as fuzz testing, code analysis, and social engineering. Once you have found it, you must report it to the company or organization responsibly. Most bug bounty programs have a specific process for reporting vulnerabilities. The company or organization will pay you a bounty if your bug report is valid. The amount of the bounty will depend on the severity of the bug. Tips for success in bug bounty programs. Do your research. Before you start hunting for bugs, it is important to research the company or organization you're targeting. This will help you understand their systems and networks, making it more likely that you will find valid bugs. Be patient. It can take time to find valid bugs. Don't get discouraged if you don't find any bugs right away. Just keep practicing and learning, and you will eventually find success. Follow the rules. Make sure you follow the rules of the bug bounty program. This includes reporting all bugs you find even if you think they are minor. Be professional. When you report a bug, be professional and courteous. This will make you a more valuable asset to the bug bounty program and increase your chances of getting paid. At number three, we have penetration testing. Your penetration testers utilize the same tools and techniques as malicious hackers to identify and exploit system security weaknesses. The information gathered during the testing can then be utilized to address the vulnerabilities and enhance the system's overall security. Penetration testing is an integral part of any organization's cybersecurity program. Organizations can reduce their risk of data breaches and other cyber attacks by identifying and fixing vulnerabilities before they can be exploited. There are primarily two types of penetration testing, black box and white box. Black box testing is performed without any knowledge of the system's internals. The tester is only given the system's IP address or URL and they must use their skills and tools to find and exploit vulnerabilities. White box testing is performed with full knowledge of the system's internals. The tester is given access to the system's source code, network diagrams, and other documentation. This allows the tester to perform a more comprehensive test and identify more subtle vulnerabilities. At number two, we have red teaming. Red teaming is a specialized form of ethical hacking that simulates real-world cyber attacks in a controlled environment. This is done to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in a company's security posture. Red teams typically consist of a group of highly skilled ethical hackers who are experts in a variety of cybersecurity techniques. Number one, we have zero-day hunting. Zero-day hunting is a critical and thrilling aspect of cybersecurity, involving the search for previously undiscovered vulnerabilities within software and systems that developers have had zero days to fix. These vulnerabilities are highly valuable to both cybersecurity researchers and malicious actors, as they can be exploited to bypass security measures or cause significant disruption. The hunt for zero-day vulnerabilities is not just a race against time, it's a battle of wits and expertise in the ever-evolving landscape of digital security. Zero-day hunting is a systematic and meticulous process that requires a deep understanding of software architecture, network protocols, and coding, along with a creative mindset to think like an attacker.